Hello everyone. In this video, we will introduce two other new notions called variance and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Well, uh, again, uh, we start with a discrete random variable x. Um, and um, its values we denote uh, with... Uh, the x1, x2, up to xn. Okay, then the variance of x um, denoted by vx is given by, this is again another number, but this time what we do is interesting. So here, uh, we do first find the differences of the each value and the mean of that random variable. Okay, so and mean mu. Well, you know how to compute mu or the expected value. You compute that and then you do this one. You do this one. Then x2 minus mu x3 up to xn minus mu okay then square each one then multiply each one by the um, pdf or just probability of that uh, random variable being equal to that value okay probability of uh, x being equal to xn then add all these guys Okay, so you first find mu, find differences of uh, the values and mu, square them, multiply by the uh, corresponding PDF value, then add them. So note that Vx is going to be a, num a positive number. Well, better to say non-negative number, it could be zero. But, but when you have non-negative number, uh, you can take square root of that, okay? The square root of variance of x is called the standard deviation of x. Um, so you find the square root of vx, that is sigma of x. That's the notation we choose uh, for standard deviation sigma x well you may say that when i take a square root should i take the positive square root or negative well this is only for positive square root so this is the definition for the standard deviation so you find the variance then the square root of that is uh, the deviation what is the importance of uh, variance? Variance basically shows us how spread out our values are. So if the numbers, the values of x are very spread out uh, away from the mu, you get a higher uh, variance. And if they're centered or get closer focused around mu, you get smaller standard deviation or variance so for, for the moment you don't need to know those ones uh, what is important for us is you have to be able to calculate uh, these two quantities which are given here and then there okay let's see this in at least two examples um, here we have uh, this one, this random variable. Actually, we did work on this. We found um, we found uh, the standard deviation, well, the, the expected value, mu, for this uh, 
valuable and it was what was the number 53 over 12 you can go check back the videos uh, for the mean um, of a, a random variable and you'll see that we found this one now we want to find the variance of that variance of that is okay so the first value here is zero you subtract from that the mu then square it the second value is 1 minus 53 over 12 then square it then there is uh, 4 minus 53 over 12 square it and then 10 minus 53 over 12 square it multiply each one of these guys to the corresponding uh, pdf value so for this one zero uh, that we subtracted from you we multiply it by 1 over 12 uh, the other one we multiply it by 5 over 12 and this one you multiply 2 over 12 and then another 4 over 12 and then add these guys well i will just go quickly on these values because well this will definitely need some um uh, some calculator but i'll just write it uh, at least simplify so this one there is negative 20 53 over 12 square it when you score the negative sign disappears and you get this times 1 over 12 1 minus 53 over 12 is uh, 41 negative 41 over 12 so we square it times 5 over 12 and uh, 4 minus 5 over 12 is uh, 48 and um yes that's five over twelve negative five over two square two over twelve and uh, how about uh, this one here so that's one twenty minus fifty three over twelve is sixty seven over twelve square well the numbers are huge and I don't want to think about those numbers but but what you can do here well i just will do a little bit more simplification uh you see that in all of the denominator you have 15 12 to the power 2 times another 12 so this will be 12 to the power 3 in the numerator the first one is this the second one is this the the, the third oh there's times five plus uh, the third one is 25 times 2 is 50 and that's 67 squared times 4 well if you have calculated you just punch in uh, the numbers and then that that will give you the number i won't do and I, we are not expecting you to be able to do this kind of calculation i was the uh, one i just wanted to Give you the example and show you how to calculate this these values how about this one john draws that example is coming with us for a long time so i will try to do that one here again uh, so the values the number of balls drawn by john could be zero one two or three and the the pdf the values there are two over five 3 over 10, 1 over 5, and 1 over 10, okay? Remember what we did. We found, we have to first find mu. We did in an example before, and we found it before, okay? If you don't have it, you have to go ahead, calculate it, find mu first. Then, the second thing is that you find x minus mu square. This is another thing to do the another way of do that so x minus 2 squared 0 minus 2 squared 1 minus 2 squared 2 minus 2 squared and 3 minus 2 squared so these values are 4 first one the negative 1 squared is just 1 this is 0 and this is 1 now the variance is you multiply each one of these guys to the PDF like that okay 
because it already it's x minus mu yes so what we do here is now four times two over five plus uh one times three over ten plus zero times one over five and um one times one over ten okay let's calculate these ones what will happen here okay if i put all the denominators 10 this will mean the 2 times uh, that's 16 plus 3 plus 0 plus 1 and that will give me 20 over 10 well accidentally we get we got the vx also as 2 well now are you looking for the standard de deviation of this one just take square root of the variance which is the square root of two and that's the number we are interested in so you either do this way one by one multiply as we did in that example up there or you can use the table and form another column x minus mu square and then multiply each value by the corresponding probability and add them that's the that's the variance okay so this way you learn the variance and we will learn again more about the properties of variance later